Hey friend, welcome to Ask Dr. Betters. I love your questions. Your questions are great and I appreciate them. You can, you can subscribe to Ask Dr. Betters. Make sure if you do subscribe or if you, uh, um, install our app, which is free, that you allow for notifications. This way you won't miss a thing that's going on with Ask Dr. Betters. Kelly wants to know, what does God think about being separated from your husband but not divorced? Well, Kelly, separation is not something in scripture that has any kind of endorsement from God. There's an allowance for separation, but he tells us if you do separate, whether it's a sexual fast or whether you're separating for safety reasons or for some other reason that happens in the context of your marriage, do it short term, but come back together again. Why? Because separation leads to divorce. Separation makes it harder for you to come back together to resolve the issues. Now, having said that, there are times in which safety is at hand. There are times in which I have encouraged couples to separate, frankly, because somebody's going to get hurt or somebody's going to get killed or somebody's going to get injured in some way because the emotions are running so high that you need a timeout cooling off period. But to do that on a permanent basis without also at the same time working towards some sort of reconciliation is a sure pathway to a quick divorce. If you separate, you must separate for a reason. And that reason must be for the purpose of reconciling cooling off, coming back together, seeking counsel, being involved in counseling together, uh, trying to work through the issues, uh, trying to work through homework or uh, difficult solutions that you must embrace if you're going to save the marriage. But to separate just because you're planning on divorcing and you can't stand to be around each other just for that purpose is a sure way to end the marriage in divorce. So separation for the purpose of reconciliation is spoken of in scripture. Bible speaks of several different kinds of fasting, one of which is a sexual fast. There are times when Having a sexual relationship needs to be put on hold, whether from pain or uh, some sort of ailment or some sort of physical crisis, some reason why you shouldn't be having a physical relationship at that point. But even then, the Word of God teaches us in Corinthians, but don't defraud one another, except for a season but come back together again so that in your um, abstinence, you are not tempted to greater evil. Uh, well, that applies not only to a sexual fast, but to a fast where you separate for a reason, with a reason, with a purpose. And that purpose is to figure out a pathway back together again. And usually it's with counseling. Um, when there is physical abuse in a marriage, I have never, ever, ever advocated that a woman stays with an abusive husband. But that doesn't mean that leaving and divorcing is the solution. It usually is, 
when it comes to physical abuse, there is a sense in which a man leaves the marriage when he abuses his wife. He breaks the vows. He breaks the relationship. He leaves the marriage. On those conditions, there are times under counseling, with biblical counseling before you, when a wife would be permitted to divorce her husband because physical abuse endangers the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is your body. So I hope this answers the question, what does God think about being separated from your husband but not divorced? God would tell you it's very, very dangerous. It's, a, it's really a non-starter toward reconciliation, but that there are times when it is necessary. Very few, but there are times when in counseling, and I place that condition on you, when in counseling, there might be an occasion for the separation to lead ultimately to a divorce. It's not preferable, but it is possible. I hope this helps. Hello, my name is Danielle Cantler, team member here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you so much for your continued support of this video series. Ask Dr. Betters is not meant to be a substitute for professional counseling, but instead is designed to extract the biblical principles around the questions being asked. We encourage you to seek professional counseling if needed. Professional counselors are ready to assist you at Anchored Hope Biblical Counseling. See the links below for more information on Anchored Hope and all of the free resources we offer here at Mark Inc. Ministries. Thank you for watching and welcome to the Mark Inc. family.